Today's video is going to be breaking down a man blitz from the 4-3 under formation, which can be found in the New England Patriots defensive playbook. What's up guys, my name is Cody, and today we're going to be taking a look at another play in our defensive scheme of the week here from New England. We're taking a look at the 4-3 odd formation, and uh, just really, really enjoy this formation as a whole, uh, so I can't wait to get into this breakdown with you guys, but... Um, what we're looking at today is we're looking at some man pressure. And uh, what we want to do is we're going to use this play edge sting. Um, guys, real quickly, if you have any questions about the things that I say in today's video, please let me know in the comment section so that I can answer them and so hopefully I can answer your questions. Anyway, the play is very simple. What we do is we want to base the line and we want to shift our defensive line to the right side of the screen. From there, we want to crash our defensive line left. Whoops. Uh, we want to crash our defensive line left. And we're going to get some pressure here. And, and as you see, we're going to get some nice A-gap pressure from our linebacker here, rushing up the A-gap on a turbo angle. Now, sometimes with this blitz, what I like to do is actually take just a tuck, uh, or, or excuse me, is to crush my line down. Um, and, and, and this is something that I also haven't even... But what you'll see here is it kind of muddies the angle, and that's why I don't do it. So what I like to do... Is, is I like to either crash my line to the left or I can crash them out. What you're going to see when you crash your defensive line out um, is you're going to see that you're going to get edge pressure. It's not really very clean, to be honest. So that's why I like to crash them to the left because it's going to give you the cleanest A-gap pressure that you can get. You see that this backer, Malcolm Smith, is going to come screaming uh, up the A-gap for some pressure uh, for you. So that's what we really like to do there. Um, if you And then one other thing, if you really want to go the extra mile, is what I like to do is take Tuck and put him on a blitz straight down. And now you're going to see we're going to really clean up that A-gap for Malcolm Smith to run through it and, and get the sack. That's really um, a lot to say this. Basically, here's the setup baseline. Shift your D-line to the left, crash your D-line to the right, uh, or excuse me, shift your D-line to the right, crash your D-line to the left, and then take this guy, Justin Tuck, put him on a re-blitz straight down. And what you're going to see here is some nice pressure um, right up the A-gap at the quarterback. So thank you guys for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. This is just some man pressure, man coverage behind it, and uh, we're going to be sending some nice A-gap pressure at, your, at the quarterback. So everybody's manned up. And we're sending some heat right up the A-gap to attack the opponent. That's what we like to do with our man blitz. Tomorrow we're going to be showing you a zone blitz. Probably a little better coverage. And uh, um, we're only going to be sending five guys tomorrow and getting one guy free. So hope you guys tune in tomorrow, guys. Remember... If you like what you see this week from the 4-3 odd, we're going to expand upon it and make it even better in our defensive ebook, which is only going to be $10, guys. Only $10. We're going to teach you everything you need to know about defense in Madden 16, uh, and we're going to teach it to you next week. Um, it's going to drop on Monday, and, uh, and we'll have a video come out and talk a little bit more about the guide, show you a sample play and things like that from it. But I'm really, really excited. And, uh, and hopefully you guys will take advantage of this opportunity. Like I said, only $10, and we're going to be breaking down some defense for you in Men 16. So thanks for the time, guys. Appreciate you taking three or four minutes out of your day to watch my video. If you'll do me a favor, if you have any questions about the things discussed in today's video, if you'll leave me